Hey guys, welcome to episode 166 of the Cat Lady Podcast. My co-host is whining. Uh, thank you for joining. I wasn't going to call this a podcast anymore. Welcome to my Cat Lady channel. I'm Andrea, also known as Cat Lady. That's 2-T-C-A-T-T, which stands for Craft All the Things. I am primarily a knitting, crochet, spinning, fiber-related podcast, but do a lots of other random crafts in the mix. Uh, but lately it's been a lot of crochet and knitting, so that's what we'll be talking about mostly today. But I do have one extra non-crochet knit project, but it's still string-related, so there's that. My camera is a little bit crooked. I am propped up on my couch. It's just... It is what it is. It is Tuesday, June 7th. I think so. Yes. It is the final week of school for the kiddos. Uh, it was a busy weekend with David's birthday. And it's going to be a busy week this week with <sighs> wrapping up all the school activities. And then next weekend we have a few things going on. So, yeah, it's been busy. So, but I have still been crafting and getting things done. So, let's get going. So, I finished my blanket. I'm not going to pull out the whole thing. It is, so I decided to use up the rest of the yarn. So, originally... I wasn't sure if I should stop where it was or use it up. And someone made a comment about maybe making a small little lovey with it. And that sounded like a good idea. However, I wasn't sure if I had enough, number one. Number two, it's for a two-year-old. So it's for a baptism, but he's turning, he's only, he's going to be two this summer. So it's not like for a baby. Not that a two-year-old wouldn't like a little cuddly thing, but I would just figure maybe a bigger blanket since it's a bigger kid. So this has turned out to be about 36 inches by like 45 inches, which is a good toddler size blanket. Uh, this is the Cover Story, Lion Brand Cover Story in the Oro color. I really love this. I really love how this turned out. I love, like sometimes you get the weird pooling with the variegated yarns and then you don't get that here. And I really like it. I just really like that one. I almost want to make one for myself. So that's done. I do have a second one of these to make. Um, I showed you the yarn a while back when I bought it. It's for his sibling that is yet to be born so that one would be a baby but i'm probably at this point since it's I'm just gonna make the same so we'll just do the same thing use up the yarn i literally had this much left so that makes me way happier because i don't I, I have a lot of scraps and i don't know what to do with them especially something like this big blanket yarn i do have a lot of big blanket scraps i thought about trying to put together in a blanket but it's gonna just look so weird so i don't know so that's done uh other things that are done I don't think this was done. Pretty sure this wasn't done. No, I bought the yarn Friday for uh, to make a bucket hat for David. I, he says it's fine. I'll put in a picture of him wearing it. I still feel like it might be a little small, but whatever. He says it's fine. I have enough yarn to make another one if I want to make another one eventually. If he says it's, if he likes it, and he actually, I don't even know if he's actually going to wear it. But he wanted a Devo colored, so there's the Devo colored bucket hat. I literally just made it a round less than mine on the top but then it just ends up making everything a little smaller but he's got a smaller head so and it does have some starch to it so and then i made him a knitting machine hat because again he wanted a devo devo colored so it's orange and white reversible hat so obviously he won't wear that till the winter but everybody everything about devo devo everything huh he's sitting there staring at me uh okay it's pull time Time for more. I, I need advice on everything I do, apparently. So I am on row 100 and like 50, is it? No, is it 150 or is it 250? I don't know. No, I think it's, I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe it's 250. I am to a point where I'm out of yarn. And supposedly she used one skein for the thing. And I mean, it's a, it's a decent size shawl. It's around... 54 inches I think unblocked so I mean like how much stretch is it gonna have it's not gonna have a ton of stretch but I mean it's it's arm length for sure so should I stop I have enough to cast off bind off I probably don't have enough for tassels which I don't care that much really maybe I could find a just black make black tassels on it I don't know. I'm not too concerned about the tassels. I just, I don't know if I want to cut into another thing of yarn because if I cut into another thing of yarn, I'll probably only use half and I'm going to have half a skein left and it's going to be like one of those things I don't know what to do with because I have all these like half skeins left and none of them match and none of them go into projects together and I just, I keep accumulating all this scrap yarn that I kind of don't want. So if I bind off now, 
I won't have that problem. But, and it is big enough. But, I mean, it's not as big as the pattern. It's not the full pattern. There's still, like, a good good chunk of rows left. So, I don't know. What would you do? Would you just go ahead and finish the pattern? Or would you stop it where it is? So, chime in. Let me know. So, this will be put away for now until, until I get some feedback and decide what I want to do. I wonder, I don't think I have a mini. I wonder if I have a mini of this yarn. I wonder if Adrian has any left. She could send me for tassels. Because she bought the, this is from my advent kit. And I know she used the full skein for a blanket, but I don't know if she used it all. She might have some left. She can share for tassels. Uh, so, but yeah, I literally just have enough for buying off pretty much. Hopefully, hopefully it's enough for buying off. So there's that. And then I made some progress on my sunny summer crochet top. So you saw I finished this panel. So this panel's done. I do worry it is a little narrow. It's, it's gonna fit. Like I feel like if I, if I wash it, I think it's gonna loosen up a bit. It's gonna fit, but it might be a little more snug fitted than I expected. So I'm hoping, it, hopefully I like it, but I think I can steam it out a little bit and relax it if I need to. Um, but I started the second panel. So here we are, second panel. I did 44 rows total on this one. So I need to do 39 rows and then I'll split and do five rows each of the, you're cutting out a neckline essentially. And then there's sleeves. There's a sleeve pattern part. I'm using Karen Simply Soft purple. So we're getting that worked on and I have craft night tonight. So I will work on that tonight. That's a pretty easy project to take with me. And that is all the knitting and crocheting. So what's new? New project on the horizon. I started making friendship laces. I'm really hoping to teach Emily how to make these. So in order to teach Emily, I really needed to kind of relearn how to do them myself. So it's using embroidery thought, embroidery floss. And I've never done anything like complicated. So I'm trying to do like a little more patterny things. Um, there's really only four basic knots that you can do and you just, and you got to follow a pattern. So, but I made this little chevron bracelet and it's got a little button closure. So you got a little loop here and then, so it closes with a button, but, or you could just tie them in a knots, but then you can't take them on and off as easily. So got that. And that's your pretty standard chevron. And then I did this one, which is a hearts. I asked David to pick colors. He said silver and gold. So it's as close as I get to silver and gold. It's more like gray and yellow, but whatever. Got some two little hearts on there. Again, the button on there. And so then I decided to try to figure out a more complicated one that had a pattern. So this is what the pattern looks like. And so this is where I am so far. So it doesn't quite look like I was expecting it to look, but it uh, looks kind of cute. So we got this little patterning on it. It's only six strings, so the other ones were eight, so that's why it's a little narrower. It almost looks like kind of flowers. Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, something looks a little off there, but whatever. It's I'm following the pattern, so... And again, these are all like person generated pattern so it could be but I mean looking at the pattern it looks right it's supposed to look like oh well, yeah it does it's like a diamond it's supposed to be like a diamond kind of which it is so I don't know it's I would I'm gonna find a different pattern after this but I'll finish it so I have my little clipboard here marked so I need to go down to about here to fit my wrist so I'm about like halfway and these take kind of a long time. That's why I want Emily to really uh, want Emily to find something that's like a good hobby that will take time because she gets bored all the time. I kind of want David to too. I tried to teach him how to crochet. He did not handle it very well. He could he could do like a slip stitch or a slip knot or he did slip knot and he could start the chain, but then he got like it would always get tangly or something. So like and me trying to show him was not good. I'm trying to show him some videos, he just his patience is very thin. So. I'll try again because I really would like the kids to have something to do with their hands, something portable, 
Um, I did try to teach him knitting at one time too, and again, that was like way too much. So you really need patience for these things. And he expects that everything. He like he just he wants to knit like an amigurumi like right off the gate. I'm like, well, uh, you're not gonna do that. <laughs> so I'm getting a package. All right. So anyways, that's all I have right now. I'm off to physical therapy this afternoon, and I will be working on the shirt. So I'll have more more to update on that and probably work on my bracelet some more too. Um, I do want to, oh, I do want to cast on and I probably will today. I have to go stash dive. I'm, I'm guaranteed, I'm bound and determined to stash dive. I want to make the very Vero v-neck. It's a very like, very deep v-necked granny square or granny striped top by Knitting Tipsy. Um, and I want to use Karen Simply Soft, and I got a lot of it, but I need like four skein, four full skeins of it, and I know I have a lot of partial skeins, and I don't know, I need to find colors that match and go together. So I need to go stash dive and see what I can come up with that's something I like. So I know I'll probably have a skein of purple, I have some hot pink, I have some red, like, well, those, are those going to look good together in a striped kind of thing? So I don't know. And like, I don't have a ton of hot pink, so do I just like throw in a stripe of hot pink randomly? Um... But it's like a v-neck real airy and it's got long like bell sleeves and if i do it for the hot stitch summer mail make along then i can enter to win one of her prizes or one of her patterns at the end of the summer so that would be fun uh, maybe some more bucket hats because those were like super easy like sit down and whip that out in like an hour or two so those were fun um i mean how many bucket hats do i need <laughs> But it's like a good stash buster for that cotton because if I get two, yeah, if I get two skeins to do a two color, it's it's like that uses up and I have so much, I just, it's the summer stash busting. I really don't want to buy more yarn. So that is where we are. So I will catch up with you uh, in a day or two. Hey guys, well, it's Thursday. The week is almost over. It is almost out of school. We're almost just done. Summer uh, ahead is still looking kind of busy. I have a tons of appointments and junk. Kids have day camp, so I don't think things are going to slow down, but that's okay. Um, so last we talked, I was working on my summer, sunny summer uh, shirt, t-shirt, whatever you want to call it. And last you saw, it was still in two pieces and I was here on the front panel. So front panel is done. It is now attached and I have one sleeve. So it is a little more roughly, I'm hoping, again, I'm hoping everything kind of softens when I wash it because it's kind of like stiff and kind of flared out funny, but it's cute. Uh, so I need to do the other sleeve. Kind of just got, the neckline looks cute. The back looks really cute with the, you can see the little uh, wavy thing pattern. Front's got a little wavy to it as well. Uh, you definitely need to wear a shirt underneath it because uh, after I put it's and it's, I do wish it was a little bit wider, but it, it fits. It like it perfectly fits, like a perfect fit. There's zero ease in that, so it's fine. Um, but it's cute with the little sleeves. I guess I just and it might it might kind of open up a little bit when I, again after I wash it. So I need to work on the second sleeve and that'll be done. Uh, I said I was going to work on that at craft night on Tuesday, but I did not. Instead, I did another hat, which I posted on Instagram. But yeah, I whipped this out in the whole, just the whole craft session, uh, craft night. So like two, two and a half hours, roughly. Um, this is, this is Hobby Lobby yarn. I had bought a bunch of Hobby. I don't support Hobby Lobby. I'm not going to get into that, but, uh, I like their cotton, but I will not buy any more any ever again but i bought it to do awesome breast forms at the time when i was making uh breast prosthetics for cancer patients so i have all this left over so but i was looking for a color that sort of matched my swimsuit my swimsuit's like a burgundy it's like a kind of a darker it's not it's not quite as red as this it's almost like an orangey it's between it's like a rusty burgundy maybe um so i mean this doesn't match but it's more of a darker kind of mm, i don't know I mean, it, it kind of goes with burgundy. That's all I can say. <laughs> so that was the closest color I could come up with in my stash that would match my swimsuit. So if I go to the beach or the pool, I can put on my little hat with my swimsuit. 
Uh, and then it's got the stripe, the white stripe is kind of a cream colored with like specks of green and brown in it, which I'm trying to think. I think my swimsuit might have a little like floral. I don't even remember. It's new. I've only worn it one time, so I can't remember what it looks like. But it might have a little bit of a floral pattern in the bottom. So I know the top is all one color. So, so that's my plan. So that's my swimsuit bucket hat. Um, and that's done. I, I finished my little bracelet. Yeah, it turned out pretty cute. Uh, it's a little big. I made it a little bit longer than normal, so it's kind of loose, but I feel like the knot probably should be a little tighter on this button, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of these anyways, but that's done. And then I cast on my, and if you follow me on Instagram, you, you see I'm excessively posting about these because I want to win stuff. Where am I at here? Okay. I wanna, don't want to pull it out. So I'm working on my very Vero V-neck by Knitting Tipsy. And it is pretty much a very oversized, very deep V-necked uh, shirt. And it's got like little bobbles on the end. And it's going to be super cute and kind of summery. So I originally I was going to have four colors. And I was going to do a cream color in there too. But I didn't like, I don't know. I just, the cream color almost popped out a little too much. I mean, the pink pops a lot too, but I really like it. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough yarn. I don't know if three skeins is gonna be enough. I do have another skein of purple that I have to finish that sleeve, but it, I'll have tons of purple left. Uh, or I can do some trimming with the cream color, which actually might be cute if I do like the bobbles and the trim in the cream. That might look cute too. But as far as this co color combo, I absolutely love this color combo. So I am gonna go with it. If I have to buy another skein of something, I will. <laughs> I mean, we're, I don't have, I'm worried, I probably, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to buy another pink because this pink was already partially used. Uh, I don't even remember what I used it for. No, I don't remember what I used it for. So might have to buy another pink, but that's Karen Simply Soft. It's relatively inexpensive. I know I'm trying to stash bust and I, I am, sta I'm stash busting pretty well. Like uh, stash busting, stash busting. So, I mean, I'm doing pretty good. So if I have to pick up a skein or here and there, then it's okay. Um, so that's it. So I'm going to finish up that sleeve. I'm going to keep working on the Very Vero and please again, chime in on what, uh, what you think I should do with my Stormy Sky shawl. If I should add another skein, half skein, or if I should just stop it as is, I would love to hear your opinions on that. Uh, and that's it. I might pop in tomorrow a half day I may not pop in tomorrow I might just upload tomorrow so this I'm just gonna say this is it because I'm probably not gonna get that much done tonight and I won't have that much to share tomorrow and it's gonna be a kind of busy day half day last day of school all that jazz so I think we will wrap this up right now and I will pop in some musical renditions uh, uh they're not they're definitely a little uh clunky, but uh, a couple of my piano pieces from last week. Uh, and uh, that'll be it. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. I hope the weather gets nice because it's still not great. We've had a couple like really nice hot 80, 90 days and then everything else has just been like, uh, which okay, it's nice. It's fall. It's like fallish almost like, but I don't want that now. I want to put on my swimsuit. I want to go to the pool. I want to wear my shorts and short sleeve shirts. But I am like constantly just freezing and I don't like it. So with that, I will bid you farewell and I will talk to you next week and I hope you get to craft all the things.